Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Call of the I am Magpie and I am bringing you some Dear Esper. Esper? Esper? I think it's Esper. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry, I'm really bad with pronouncing things. Anyway, um, I would have brought you some more Amnesia, except I only play that when I'm at Rooks. I do have it here, but that would mean trying to keep up with two saved games and trying to be in the same place on each it would just be really confusing so um i'll upload it whenever i'm over at rux and also um over there i've got masao as well that's downloaded there i was gonna do a truth ending um if anyone was interested in that and also um a, I've missed a disturbing death that was uh, pointed out to me, so I was going to show you all that. Uh, anyway, so uh, Dear Esther is meant to be an immersive indie, like, adventure, I suppose. Uh, I thought it would be something different, so let's start. Oh. Well, I can only start here. Um, yes. Dear Esther, the morning after I was washed ashore, salt in my ears, sand in my mouth, and the waves always at my ankles, I felt as though everything had conspired to this one last shipwreck. I remembered nothing but water, stones in my belly and my shoes, threatening to drag me under to where only the most listless of creatures swim. Right, so... on the island. So it's Esther, not Esther. I think it's pronounced differently. What the fuck was that noise? Is that a horse? Oh, my torch just magically turned on. Oh god! Oh god! Wow, I do- oh, this is really nice. I do like this. Some of the reviews I thought were a bit harsh. I've never actually played it, but I saw a lot of the gameplay and I thought it was really nice. Oh, um... I think, I think that's an acid there. Because that's got an OH group, which is a hydroxide. So... Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I did a little bit of chemistry. Oh, it's a wind. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Oh, is that a bird? Yeah, it's a bird. Right, so what's in here then? Is there anything in here? Can I interact with this? Um. Right. I'm not sure really what I'm doing. Shall I walk up here? Let's walk up the cliff. Can I run? I can't run. Then again, why would I run? So I suppose that's kind of, you know, realistic. Like, why the fuck would you go running up a cliff unless you're Dover King or something stupid? Hmm, it's really nice though. What's this? Someone drawn something? I can't jump. Um. Donnelly reported the legend of the Hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, in all that haunts the ocean, is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, 
I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I think I can... Can I go down here without killing myself? I don't think I can die in this. I hope I can't, anyway. Right, so there's meant to be a hermit living in there. And I've just gone in there and there's no one there, so... Mm, let's just walk along the beach. Have a nice, leisurely stroll. It's very pretty, isn't it? I think there's an opening there that I can see. Because knowing that I can't run, can I like... Those islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time, sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. I like the voice acting in this, actually. It's really good. So let's just carry on walking, shall we? What is that? Um, um, right, I'll leave that. <laughs> Dear Esther, I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones, and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves, my forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me so. All overexposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. It's really sad. God. Um, I don't know, I think I'm meant to drown myself. That's really sad. Donnelly's book had not been taken out from the library since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. Right then. Well, um... So far I'm liking... When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Odd. Well, no, um, before I was so rudely interrupted, um, no, I'm really, I'm really liking it. The only thing I don't like about these type games is that 
you don't really know where you're going a lot of the time. It's like it's not very linear. You're not told what you're meant to do, where you're meant to go, and I quote directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the outer isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? And the fact that you get interrupted all the time if you're trying to do a let's play. <laughs> no, right, I'm going to stand still, but I'm going to voice my opinion a little bit. So we'll just have a nice look around at everything. The visual's really nice. Story is... It's getting really good, but again, like I said, you don't really know where you're going, you don't have any objectives. There's nothing really to do. You're playing someone else. You're hearing what they think about things. Which is nice, because it's nice to have a really immersive game to get yourself into. And it's like a story. It's like unfolding in front of you. But at the same time, it's just, it's a bit annoying when you have to backtrack and stuff like that and you don't know what you're doing or where you're going. But other than that, it's really really nice I mean really nice graphic as well I mean I've seen games far worse looking like this I mean I don't base them entirely on this I usually base it on the gameplay and stuff which is why I hate Dear Dark Esther, Souls <laughs> I met Paul I made my own little pilgrimage my Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I would leave you presents outside your retreat in this interim space between cliff and beach. I would leave you loaves and fishes, but the fish stocks have been depleted and I've run out of bread. I would row you back to your homeland in a bottomless boat, but I fear we would both be driven mad by the chatter of the sea creatures. How is this? I'm sure that's uh, an acid of some sort. I'll look it up afterwards. Because I know that if it didn't have that OH, it would just be um, an alkane. That would be... What would it be? I think that's ethane. So if it's... It might be eth it might be eth like ethanol. Something like that. Ethanol, maybe? Um I'm sure uh Jay will comment and say whether or not I'm right. Put it like in an annotation. Is that ethanol right? Is it? Well we'll find out. I might find out later as well. I'm not sure what this is. What's this? Is this a plant? Um I don't know. It's very pretty, all of this quite sure. I think this is meant to be a tree. What am I doing now then? Am I... some more? Am I going back? I guess why... why am I going in this cave just to come out again? That's... that's the question. This is a neur neuron. Um... Which, if you don't know, it's like, um... It's a cell in your body, which um, is like a nerve cell, and all this. You can you'll probably do it in biology. Um, I'm pretty sure that's meant to be a flower. 
Or some sort? I don't, I don't know. What is that? That looks like another cell. I can't remember what cell it is, but it does look like another cell. So is this all to do with... Is this another side of the cave? I think this is a different side. Yeah, so that's why I came in. Came in to come out on a different side. Maybe? Did I? No, I'm pretty sure that's the same side. Am I just walking back? I think I'm just meant to be walking back now. Or walking along here, because I went past that way first. Let's try this way. I'm liking the music, it's really nice. It's giving me goosebumps though, I'm not sure. <laughs> Don't know whether that's what they were going for, but hey. Oh, that's a pretty little stream. What would have been nice if they had some little, like, crabs or something, like, just, just along here? I've become convinced I'm not alone here, even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. Mm. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candle, or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. these stones that I saw when I was up there. I was interested with these. These look really cool. And what's this? Um. Looks like it's an ON, which looks like it's meant to be. But I don't. I have no idea what that is. Sorry, guys. Um, oh well, I'll, I'll take a good look at it. Uh, now Jay didn't do chemistry, but everyone thinks that he did, and so do I. But um, he might know what it is. This is really nice. Look at, this, look at these stones. 